All right. Hello? All right. Not even too sure if the mic is uh, picking me up. All right, well, maybe it is, who knows. But, um, all right, what's up out there? Let me, um, Okay, so right now I'm recording footage from the game uh, Marvel's Avengers Academy, which is actually shutting down today. Um, got, got the notification about it around last month where um, they were going to be shutting down the game on the game's third anniversary uh which is kind of a bummer uh, i've been playing this game since the uh since the very uh since damn near the 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 very beginning um i think i uh maybe like a couple months after it came out um i think i missed the first two a little mini events uh, that that they had but uh, I was still able to get the characters from those events uh, later on uh, when they gave like another opportunity uh, to get them um, but I but so by the time I played like just maybe a couple months later they were doing the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, event that gave you the opportunity to unlock, um, you know, obviously some of the, uh, not some, but actually quite a few of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters. So, um, you know, not just Star Lord, Gamora, Drax, uh, Rocket, and Groot, uh, but I was also able to unlock. Um, Nebula, Yondu, and I think for some reason, I think it was either that event or just, I don't know, on her own or something, uh, Lady Sif. <laughs> um, but other than that, I've been playing... Uh, so since then, I've been playing this game, uh, like, practically every day uh, since. Um, you know, just playing it maybe, like, a couple times a day. Usually, like, I play it when I get up and, um, before, um, you know, when I wake up from bed and, uh, before I, I go to bed. So this is pretty much the Avengers Academy. You see Iron Man there, barrel rolling around the plane there. So this is what the Academy itself looks like. You see students roaming, got dinosaur roaming. So I'll take a little tour. So the way this game is, is, is pretty much in the same style as, um, what are those games called? Uh, um, the Family Guy Quest for Stuff, the Simpsons Tap, Tapped Out game. It's, it's very, very similar to, to those, 
uh, type of games where you're sending characters on like little missions um, in those games usually it's for fetch quests and it was like that for for this game as well um, but they they changed things up this last year and so you know you're only getting energy so you can go uh so you can go do battles and stuff like that and then you know earn uh items and stuff that you need to level up upgrade rank your characters whatever um it wasn't always like that the the mission board used to be uh used to be a lot different looking uh, it used to just look like, so this is where, so the center over here, so right in the middle there, that's the, the mission board. Before it just, it looked like just one of those, um, info boards, um, you know, those information boards, uh, that people just state you know, like, staple or tack on, um, you know, paper to or whatever, and it kind of just looked like that, and you sent people on missions to, um, basically just unlock items to help upgrade characters, but, uh, upgrading, upgrading characters used to kind of be a uh, hassle, all depending, um, especially if you didn't get to upgrade them through an event because that meant that uh, while you might be able to get items and, and such to upgrade them, but they were really, really expensive um, to be able to upgrade. So there were like no lie years where I couldn't upgrade uh, certain characters because it cost so much uh, to um, to upgrade them. And, you know, it was kind of, so, so for example, um, they used to didn't have this, uh, separate, I don't think, but, um, so these are the hero missions. Basically, these are the, um, the missions that show, uh, what, you know, what char characters you have to level up, stuff like that. Uh, each character, not all of them, but most of the characters, uh, do come with, like, their own story missions, uh, as you rank them up and stuff. Uh, problem when that started was, again, it was very hard to rank up characters, so I never really got to. This last year, so, after the second anniversary of the game, they drastically changed things up in the game they the events so when they used to have events events used to have their own little um you know gameplay elements and for the most part they were kind of convoluted if you if you've played uh you know family guy or the simpsons then you might know what I mean. It wasn't still as bad as that, but it was still pretty bad. You know, there were a lot of um, events where where you would have to do stuff like um, like you're training soldiers or something to go battle um, something to go get. Um, you know, so you could grind out certain items, so you can um, go do other stuff. You know, maybe go fight whatever with your like Avengers, um, and um, and I know it doesn't it doesn't sound as bad with me like explaining it, but it was just it it was a very convoluted process in order to um, get through the. Uh, get through these events 
And there were certain events that made me, like, damn near uh, quit this game because of just um, how time-consuming they they were and how long it took um, to even unlock some characters. Um, the earlier events uh, weren't that bad. Um, like I said, I think, like, first event was Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I can't remember... What were the other events initially after that, but uh, a lot of the events were usually based on whatever was going on with Marvel Entertainment at the time. So for the most part, it had to do with uh, movies and TV shows. So um, when they did the Guardians of the Galaxy at the time, though, you know, I there wasn't, I don't think, um, there might have been... Guardians of the Galaxy 2 maybe that was coming out at the time but I, I but I think they just did it just to do it but after that when they would have um so when yeah so when the Spider-Man movie came out uh, Homecoming they had a uh, you know, they had a event for that, and um, and usually, as far as uh, events goes, it usually, ha um, you know, it'll give you the opportunity to unlock lots of different characters. Um, the Spider-Man event was actually split into kind of like two parts, back-to-back um, -back for whatever reason. And the, uh, and there's a lot of characters that you could unlock, uh, aside from Spider-Man. Um, there are actually other spider characters you could unlock, like Miles Morales, uh, Spider-Gwen, um, Anya, Spider-Woman, uh, I think also Spider-Woman herself. Uh, you know, uh, Venom, and I, I think those are the good guys that America could unlock, and then you could also unlock members of the Sinister Six, like Green Goblin, Doc Ock, Lizard, Mysterio, uh, Electro was also a character you unlock, but he was, like, the only one that I think I missed out on, and I never had, uh, a, another chance or opportunity to unlock him. Uh, even though in this game, in its third year, there were actually quite a few characters that if you missed out on, you could get. So, for example, there was a, um, when Daredevil Season 2 was coming out they had an event to reflect that uh which had characters like um uh you know of course you can unlock daredevil you also had um oh. you also had uh electra you can unlock and you had the punisher uh the punisher though was um initially i didn't unlock him during that event because he was a pain in the ass to to unlock um so one of the things that they used to do in these events where you let's say you would have like a certain boss uh a certain battle maybe even like a boss battle or something um, like, let's say you're, um, you know, you're fighting the Kingpin. So, Kingpin will have, I think, maybe, like, ten different levels to fight him as. So, like, you fight him at, um, um, and this isn't, like, you know, you're fighting him at, like, okay, he's at level one and now he's at level two. It's, like, there's just stages, um, that you, that you fight him. Uh, I know this is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to, like, to explain and try to put into words. Um, basically, like, you would, um, you go fight Kingpin once, and, you know, he'd be at a lower level. He might have a henchman or two, like, low-level henchmen. 
and each time you defeat him then uh then you have the option uh to fight him again but at a stronger uh level maybe with more henchmen maybe with with uh stronger henchmen and that's basically how you grind out um let's say like certain um items that you need to unlock um certain characters um so i think in the case of the punisher like i had to uh, um you know repeatedly fight kingpin at at a higher level and i just didn't have enough resources to accomplish that before the end of the uh of the event so punisher unfortunately for the most part when went unlocked or was still locked for like the next two years and then when they changed things up for uh, for the third year of this game, there were there's actually there was a lot of characters that I ended up unlocking, uh, you know, way after the the events um, already happened. So you know, which is good because you know it kind of sucks to like miss out on these characters or to like let's say be a new player and you missed out on a ton of characters. <laughs> Um, but this game gave you the ability to, you know, uh, from time to time, like, be able to unlock some of those characters. So, for example, you know, there's these capsules. Right now, you just see these two capsules. But from time to time, they would have more capsules and, and also events that would um, give you opportunity to unlock, uh, you know, older characters that you may have missed. So... It was these capsules where one day I, um, you see that there's a timer under them, uh, cause every few hours or for the gold capsules case, every few days, um, they would give you a capsule that you can go unlock and one day it was either this one or one of the other ones where I went and I opened it and all of a sudden, boom, it gave me the Punisher and I was like, oh, shit because <laughs> that's one of the very few i think first year characters that um that i'm missing um if anything i think i may have um all the first year characters at this point i don't think the second year characters i do because i think i'm missing characters like electro and stuff but i think as far as like the first year goes i think getting the punisher and also um um yeah and also i think electra because I, I don't think yeah because electra i think was like a random buy um where you can spend um so one of the ways occasional ways to unlock certain characters um in this game during events was sometimes they would have like a character that was part of like let's say like a loot box or something that you would have to spend the game's uh currency on and i mean the currency that you have to pay for um to have not the one that you earn throughout the game and um Oh, hold on real quick. Alright. Anyways, so... Um, so through the currency that you actually have to pay for... You would have uh, loot boxes... Um, that you spend the currency on. And, it, and if you're going to get... Electra from it which was the only way, it was completely random. And... And, um... I mean, it wasn't 
random random i think like as you kept doing it like each time you got the um the the loot box um you, whatever item you get it gets you know eliminated from the lot so your chances of getting electra grows a little better um but i could pretty much guarantee you that it's not one of those things where if you um where like maybe you'll get lucky and and unlock um unlock electra or unlock whatever character that way after maybe like a couple tries uh no i guarantee you that the game will give you every other item in that box until all that's left is just that character. Um, and that's why I, I never unlocked the lecture because I wouldn't try to to bother with the um, with the loot boxes. Um, especially because if you did the math on, you know, let's say it took you the maximum number of times to be able to unlock a character. Um, I think we're talking about, so this game uses shards, the little blue crystals, um, next to the money. Um, you'd probably have to spend like 2000 or so shards and that's like. 20 bucks real money right there and um i ain't gonna spend 20 bucks on you know a little character or whatever so i left that i left that alone and it wasn't until recently if anything i i think it wasn't until they did the the defenders event that i think i was able to unlock um electra and then Punisher, I just happened to get at random from one of the gold uh, capsules. I was just checking to see what time it is. So I'll probably get off soon, but... Um, but yeah, um, that was basically the, the gist of the game. So what they did in the third year... was so they added this so when i was telling you about how there's different levels and stuff um you know this is what i i kind of meant by that but this is all new though this is this stuff is added was added for the third year so where you have like a level where you're fighting, you know, different level soldiers, wherever, until you get to the end where you fight, um, you know, the boss. But when I was explaining it before, imagine like, you know, having the boss, but like in each of these little levels. But all this is new, um, including the the combat that you do. So let me, I'll. I'll go do a combat. Like, let's fight Red Skull. So, you know, it shows you the items that you would win. So stuff like the trading cards, the comic pages, uh, you use that to help level up your character. You get experience. Um, you know, each level up for you um, gives you the ability uh, ability to uh, to level up those characters at least like you know one level one level more um and leveling up uh i guess i'll get to that in a bit but so these are all the characters that that i could fight with Um, cause my, my academy level is 58, so, you know, they're, so a lot of these characters, or some of these characters are, you know, I, 
They're as high as I could get them. Um, it doesn't really matter so much what I use uh, to beat these guys with, because they'll, like, wipe them out. But, um, so on the side here, on the left side, um, it shows, like, kind of like a little diagram. Um, red, purple, yellow, like, so basically, it's to show that, um, you know, the, the combat type next to it is, um, how they can deal, like, 50% more damage towards, towards that. So, for example, Red Skull is tech-based. So that means that if I put any red um, um, physical combat types, they'll deal extra damage against them. But if I do... What's green? Sp oh, science. Okay, so... But if I put... Um, science-based characters like the Hulk Captain America Spider-Gwen Ant-Man and Spider-Man uh, you know, now I have a team full of people who can deal extra damage. And, you know, you could also select where you want to place them uh, on the board. Uh, the front is supposed to be meant more for, like, um, you know, defensive characters and the back for offensive characters. But you don't have to do that. I, I'll, like, I tend to do that, but you don't have to. And you can only have, a, at most, five characters. Um, to battle. So now we choose to fight. You got a little dialogue. Usually for the boss battles, like, there'll be some dialogue. So you have Loki here. I've never understood why so many of you supervillains are physically repulsive. Does Thanos think having ugly henchmen will distract from that strange chin of his? Do I look like a henchman to you? You look like an angry hot dog. I watched you do nothing but prance around that campus while I rot in a prison cell. Let's see if you're truly immortal. I suppose I can take the time to destroy you. To be fair, I did more than prance around that campus. I also spent a lot of time dancing and laughing at Midgardians. Um, so combat is, uh, is auto, like, you don't do anything at all. You just watch them do stuff. And you see they're taking them out in a hit. Combat seems slow, but you can speed it up if you want. And so that was basically that. <laughs> that that's what combat's been like for, for this past year. Which I don't mind at all. I thought it was like a huge improvement over the way they were doing things before. What did you take from the vaults? Nothing. I wanted something, but they wouldn't allow it. Who's they? Mephisto, Hell, and Kingpin orchestrated everything. Carnage, Dormammu may have gone away with something. I can't be certain. Who would know? Scientist Supreme. That nerd knows everything. And then you get items, and then boom. So that was basically... Um, so that's what gameplay has been like um, this this last year. Uh, it There's like eight levels. Obviously, I haven't gotten very far. Uh, for, for a long time, my characters actually weren't um, leveled very high. Uh, maybe around level 30 or something. And when you combine the... Um, you know, there were still other events going on. And they had their own um, stages and stuff. 
so I wouldn't be able to really continue um, continue on the main story. Uh, not that it mattered because for the most part I wouldn't really get very far. So I think I got to like level five on on normal. I I could probably I could likely get way further now because um, I since the shutdown like this game's been tossing um shards at you and i use them to you know try to level up and rank up my characters um but before all that i got to level five location five here on normal you now level four on heroic and barely level four into um uh master and you know each difficulty offers like different items to get and i think later levels um i would get uh i can't remember what's called um not shards um Damn, I really don't know what they might be referred to, but, um, let me see, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah, it is re referred to as Hero Shards. Um, alright, so, so later levels would um you know you'd be able to unlock hero shards for certain characters and uh getting enough shards which is usually like 10 10 hero shards uh would unlock uh would unlock that character so i know like one of the characters that you can unlock later on is black bolt um you know which is kind of a bummer that i haven't unlocked him yet because they had a um, when the Inhumans series came on, they had an Inhumans event, and I pretty much unlocked, I believe, all the characters associated to that event, you know, give or take, like, a couple, which includes Black Bolt. So, like, you know, I unlocked Gorgon, Karnak, Lockjaw, um, but... I think Crystal may have been a character, uh, but I didn't unlock her. Oh, there's also the character of Triton. I, I unlocked him as well. Uh, but the only character I was missing was Black Bull. And it was for the same reason that I didn't unlock Punisher. So, you know, and so there's like, I think certain characters like that, like I unlocked most of the characters I would have wanted to unlock, but there was a good few, um, especially, uh, you know, from the last couple of years that I didn't get to, to unlock. There was a lot of events that happened where, um, where I might not even unlock a character. Um, the, the events... As, so as they as they progressed, the events got much more and more difficult to unlock stuff. Um, it made it, you know, where if you weren't going to spend money on it, uh, it, then it ended up being a lot, a lot more time consuming. Um, before, as long as maybe you booted up the game, like, you know, a few uh, a few times a day, just for a few minutes at a time um you can uh progress and be able to to unlock stuff so you know basically showing due diligence um but it got to a point where uh we're playing the game for a few minutes at a time uh you know multiple times a day like just wasn't good enough and i didn't want to sit there and be stuck on a mobile game 
for like hours on end trying to trying to unlock stuff. Um, so there would be a, events that would go by where I might not even unlock a character. I might unlock an outfit, <laughs> um, but not a character. So let's go on a, um, all right, I have enough time. So let's go on a tour of the place. You know, so you can you can make the the academy any way that you that you want. I I chose to make it like this, and we'll go over what buildings and stuff I unlocked. Um. So over here we got the uh, Wakandan uh, embassy, and also uh, some of these locations. Not all of them. Um, but some of them, but very, very, very few of them, and this is one of the very few that, um, where you can rank up the location, and I think it looks different after each level up, if I'm not mistaken, maybe. Not completely positive. <laughs> um, and each of these, these buildings either does something, or it's the location for certain actions to be performed. So we got the Wakandan em Embassy from Black Panther, of course. Um, you have this little Van Dyne store in the center over here. Take a look. Um, this is actually where you would go to uh, to unlock outfits for characters that you can buy. Yeah, Ragnarok, Thor. So, also it shows the other outfits that you may have unlocked. So, like, for uh, Scott Lang Ant-Man, we got um, Irredeemable Ant-Man outfit, and we also have his uh, Giant Man outfit from uh, Civil War. Black Panther, you can make him be an actual panther. Um, Black Widow's got her classic Black Widow outfit. Uh, so Black Widow, so some of these characters uh, have quite a few outfits uh, because those are the characters that you unlock like really, really early on regardless of when you start the game. And that includes, uh, aside from Black Widow, that also includes uh, Iron Man, Wasp, Loki, and Enchantress. So those are the characters that you get like pretty much damn near at the beginning and those are the characters that normally when it with events you have outfits to unlock for. So some of these characters are going to have lots of outfits. So with Black Widow you have her um her classic original outfit and I believe that's like a anti gravity belt or something that she's oh no i think it looked different i don't know but I, I think that belt was is supposed to be like a special belt um this is supposed to be her halloween outfit <laughs> this is my costume when they had the halloween event you got symbiote black widow which i thought was a really cool outfit so i have that equipped to her uh, Gladiator Black Widow, which I believe that was for the, um, the Thor Ragnarok event, maybe? 1872 Black Widow. Uh, not sure what this one was for. Uh, Monster Hunter, uh, outfit. I think this was when um, Marvel did, or Avengers Academy had the Marvel Monsters uh, event, which was one of the very, 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 very few events that they did in this game based off of what was going on in the comics. M the vast majority of these events were always tied to 
a, a series coming out or returning uh, or a movie coming out. Uh, very few times was there like an actual event that was based on something that was going on at the comic books uh, at the time. Uh, Tron type of outfit. <laughs> um, her looking like Cthulhu. Why? I don't remember, but yeah. Um, Undercover Black Widow. Uh, you have an Iron Widow outfit, um, which is a really cool looking outfit. And Super Spy Widow. Um, yeah, classic Blade. Um, Blade was another character that, because he was part of the Halloween event from a couple years ago. And... He was that same level of character that, you know, why I couldn't unlock, um, you know, Punisher and stuff. So I think in that Halloween event, I, I believe Blade was the only character I didn't unlock at, at that time. Uh, but just like with the Punisher, just a few, not even that long ago, I think maybe a couple months ago, I was finally able to unlock Blade. So we got Captain America in his World War II outfit. We got him um, in, in basically Iron Patriot armor. And we have him as a werewolf from the uh, Halloween event. Uh, Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel. Um, we have this cosmic Captain Marvel outfit. Not really sure what the deal with that is. Then we have her classic uh, Miss Marvel outfit. Um, got Steampunk Doctor Strange. Um, got Space Warrior Enchantress. I think that was from Ragnarok. Um, the Ragnarok event that they did. Um, Golden Goddess Enchantress. Wicked Witch Enchantress. Mermaid Enchantress. Uh, Supreme <laughs> Enchantress. Uh, Hank Pym, um, have a wasp Hank Pym, I don't know what to do with that is. <laughs> um, Ronin Hawkeye. Um, for the Hulk, you have Bruce Banner himself as an outfit. There's also Grey Hulk, otherwise known as Joe Fixit. Um, Iron Man's got, got quite a lot of, um, outfits so he there's um so you got Thano Buster Iron Man <laughs> um then you got Hulk Buster Iron Man God Killer Iron Man not sure what the deal with this is Hydro Armor Iron Man Blacksmith Iron Man Steampunk Iron Man Original Iron Man 2099 Iron Man King Iron Man <laughs> Cat Buster Iron Man, Tech Wizard Iron Man, Intergalactic Iron Man, Business Time Tony, and Superior Iron Man. See, so those are all the outfits that I've, uh, or mo most of the outfits I unlocked from over the years since the beginning. The only ones that I don't have is the um, Hulk Bust, is either of the Hulk. Busters or Thano Busters, really. <laughs> um, Jessica Jones got a little Avengers outfit. It looks more like a shield outfit, really. Uh, War Machine Jocasta. Kid Loki. Cat Loki. Immortal Sorcerer Loki, uh, Beach Humbuggery Loki, Big Game Hunter Loki, Lady Loki, Frost Giant Loki, Lawyer Loki, and Thunder Loki. Basically Loki in a, in a Thor muscle suit from the Halloween event. Uh, then we got... 
Hero for Hire, Luke Cage. And we have original Luke Cage. Banana Maria Hill. Red Riding Miss Marvel. So some of these are from the Halloween event. Got a couple outfits for Punisher, including Cosmic Ghost Rider Punisher. <laughs> um, and uh, Frankencastle Punisher. Royal Scarlet Witch. Old Power Scar. Don't know what the deal with that is. We got DJ Vision outfit. And we also have the original. I mean... Alright, so it says original Vision. But technically, original Vision is the... You know, the red and green one that we all know. Um, this Vision... This particular Vision outfit was from around the time when I, I was growing up. Um, in the... You know, in the 80s or so, where he had more of, like, a ghost-like appearance to him. So that was the vision that I grew up with. But it, technically, it's not, it says it's the original vision, but it's it's not. <laughs> um, so then we got Queen Wasp. Reporter Wasp. Mobster Wasp. Retro Futuristic Wasp. Tropical Wasp, Archer Wasp, Holiday Wasp, Iron Wasp, Original Wasp, Monster Catcher, Pirate, and High Fashion. She's basically a fashionista in this game. For Amadeus Cho, you can unlock an Iron Spider outfit. Um, for Cosmo, you can unlock Nova outfit. Dagger, she got um, a, a dark version of her outfit. Um, Electra, a virtual outfit. Falcon has quite a few as well. So we got Astronaut, Serpent, Robo, Captain America, Kung Fu, and Penguin. <laughs> why? Because why not? Um, Captain America, Misty Knight, Disco Mockingbird, Roller Derby She-Hulk, Gwenum, Symbiote Spider-Man, got Medieval Spider-Woman and Spider-Woman, the original Spider-Woman outfit, Paladin Thor, 80s Tigra, and Captain America, Winter Soldier. So that, that's what the deal with uh, Van Dyne's store is. Um, I have this little item over here that drops 10 pages every day. Which you use to unlock stuff. Um, then there's these little things that, that I have throughout the, um, the place. And basically it allows you to, um, you level them up and they unlock, uh, bonuses for that, for that particular, um, combat type. So there's like, you know, four or five of these things around and you upgrade them and you can make your your character is a little bit more powerful so yeah um so this is the so this stark um stark tower <laughs> um thing that has foliage and all that is basically based off of this one here um this was from uh from an event where i think um where i think like in the future uh like their world when like post-apocalyptic or something like that um so that's why you have like um like this 
uh, I, I barely know how to explain it, but almost like a, a treehouse type of Stark Tower. Um, so, of course, you got the, the Sanctum Sanctorum. Uh, you have Thanos' uh, throne. I don't remember what this was from. But it says Area 13 Laboratory. I think it was from one of the Hulk events or something. I won't let you down. Um... That's that's supposed to be the hangar where that plane is usually in. Um, the Triskelion. Um, these along here on the middle, um, like you know, you see how they're like rings, basically. Um, you know that's. Um, I mean, there's nothing really much to it. They're just for, um, sending characters to, and they'll do combat stuff. Um, so you have, like, classrooms here, like, um, like, Madam Hydra's classroom, Pym's lab, Pym Technologies. I'm not my parents. You know, so these are all things that you could send characters at and they'll do stuff as Gor as guardian forge arena of war drax's cage the robo dojo the blasting range as guardian gauntlet we got the bus uh basically the plane from um uh from agents of shield <laughs> Milano Starship from Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket's Hot Rod, I'll put garlic on this. um, and an Asgardian, um, oh, the, shit, can't remember, <laughs> um, the Bifrost thing. <laughs> I'm not my parents. Aren't you a ray of sunshine? So, and in some of these locations... Uh, store. All right, because you see, there's characters like walking around and stuff. Well, there's like dozens of characters in this game, and we can't have them um, all walking out at the same time. Could um, hurt the performance of this game. So I a lot of them get stored. Um, get stored in certain locations, and so this one's one of them. Um, you know, Stark Tower, I think, is one of them. There's, like, a few. We got Power Gym, Obstacle Course. Good to know there's at least one competent person on my side. Um, I get dropped stamina packs, like, every day from this one, but, you know, it's gonna be the last day today. So. We got a Missile Base. Scroll back up. We got the Stark Tower. You lack um, this is the Avengers Dorm. And this is the Maverick Dorm. Chaos is victory. You're supposed Go to be Rangers. able it's to rude. level this up, but I don't know. I, I never got the option I really want a latte. to level it up. So that kind of never happened, which is a shame. But... Oh. No, it's just if I look through, I don't see an option anywhere. Yeah. So, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> uh, Throne of Asgard, like Loki could sit in there. And then you have Avengers Park, um, which people do stuff in or can do stuff at. Uh, Haunted Avengers Mansion. We got Daily Bugle. We got Wonder Auditorium. Groot's Grove. <laughs> Avengers Stadium. Ice Palace. We got Academy Courthouse. Um, with Ronin the Accuser and Red Skull in jails. Now, when they... In this game... Uh, the main boss of the story, when you 
beat them either like you know when you get to a certain level or when you like i think uh, unlock i don't know uh however the way you did it uh you can uh you'll basically unlock these cells <laughs> um with the main bad guys in them and you can see that they're animated and that they're they're doing stuff and you get these little shield coins and for the longest time like you would get these shield coins and you don't know what the fuck they do like you couldn't do anything with them until this past year where they made like a use for them where you can buy this stuff Uh, but these were the only two that I could ever unlock, mostly because, um, like I said, the events got were getting more and more difficult after each one. And uh, so these two cells were basically from the first two events that, that featured these, which was the Guardians of the Galaxy. And I don't remember what the event was for that had... Um, that had Red Skull showing up. It might have been for Civil War or something. It probably was. It was probably for Civil War. Um, and I, but I was never able to to unlock another um, bad guy and his cell again. Like these were the only two I was ever able to unlock, and that was that. Got Ragnarok Arena. Got co combat Cosmic Combat Simulator. Oh, there's my little inventory where it tells me how many shards and other things that, that I have. Um, Spider Gwen's Punk Palace, where you have Inferno parachuting around for reasons. Uh, Nefaria Land, Aquatic Park, Avengers Beach, Club Galaxy, uh, Tony's Training Arcade, Starlands. I think it's supposed to be a gambling thing. Nothing personal. Uh, you got Club, where um, you can get. Avengers to go play pool, chill at by the by the bar, but most importantly, dance as you see them doing. Collectors Museum and Monster Arena. So I think that covers all the places. So for the most part, I. I I believe that's like all the location, like all the things that you can unlock, where they could do stuff in. So, and it's quite a lot. Um, originally, were so the part of the screen where this is where I'm at, all of this was locked till for me, like till just recently. Um, till the till they announced. The game was shutting down, and then they gave you the ability to unlock this area. Otherwise, like, I had all this stuff, like, really, like, all bunched up next to each other. Like, it didn't... Like, this at least makes it look somewhat organized, but before, like, it was just a complete mess. Because I was just trying to fit um, everything, as you know, trying to fit as much as I could. And, and you know, I just had everything piled up next to each other. Um, let's see. So then, um, there's the, you know, the, the helicarrier, of course. Uh, what was funny with the helicarrier is that, the, you know, they showed it on here since the beginning. And, but now if I click on it, it goes straight to my Academy Adventures page. But it wasn't like that before. Before, before the third year, the third year update, it um 
if you clicked on the helicarrier, it would just say something like come back at level 50. Um, but that was prior to the third year update. And then when they did the third year update, it, um, it didn't say that anymore. Um, but I also alluded earlier to, uh, to fact of how difficult it was to actually level up, uh, to get your academy level up. So you see on the left-hand corner, I'm at level uh, 58. Um, for like the longest time till the third year update, I think I was like at level 20 something. Um, and it would take, it got to a point where it would take like months for me to level up uh, the, the academy. Then they made their uh, their update and they made it a lot easier <laughs> um, to to level up. But you could go like months without leveling up. Um, and then over here you have if you click on it, Nick Fury goes one of my pet projects, codenamed the Raft. Um, so this might have been a thing that they were going to do like this is something that that was also there since the beginning and um it's basically looked like this the whole time like you couldn't upgrade it or anything like that um so that's basically what the avengers academy looks like and you know it's all in new york and it's the buildings you can see the statue of liberty way in the back more like a silhouette but you could see her So now let's get to how much time do I got? Oh, run out of time. Um, all right. Well, let's get to the characters then that I have unlocked, which has been a lot. I think the game is supposed to have almost two hundred characters. I don't think I, I have quite that high, but we'll see now. So, of the characters that I have unlocked, I unlocked Captain Marvel. You can level up different aspects of these characters. Unfortunately, I never got anywhere near close to, you know, unlocking, I guess, certain combat stuff. But you unlock each of these. They have different stages that you unlock. Like, basically, everything's, like, unlockable. You know, just so you can spend more money on it. So, you know, those would be your skills. Um, this is where you level level them up. Um, rank is... So, the way ranking works is... Um, so, each of the, of the combat types have certain um, items that you need to, to unlock them. So I so I assume for Captain Marvel it was probably like this this blue cosmic um, item, and when you get um, enough of those and enough money, you can go and unlock them, which was a lot easier um, to do with uh, with the third year update as opposed to like previous years where. Um, if you didn't unlock or if you didn't rank them within the event that they came from, then it was probably going to be really, really expensive for you to unlock them outside of that. But with this update, they made it so that it was a lot cheaper. Uh, basically, they made it so that it, it was much more attainable. Like it w would still, you know, take time and um and resources but it was much more attainable than than what it was before because when i showed the the mission board before like this part here um you could keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and that's how much people that I had left to um you know rank up and and unlock uh but here i'm not gonna be able to still do everybody but um there were characters that I haven't 
I wasn't able to rank for like years. Uh, so like, let's say Lady Sif and Yondu, and they were one of the first characters that you unlock, and I was never able to um, upgrade them all the way until very recently. So like, I literally had some of these characters unranked for years before I was able to, to do anything with them. Um, like I said, thanks to just the third year update where it made it that much more attainable. So I keep Captain Marvel in her Miss Marvel outfit. Um, oh, and then you can um, up their um, their rarity. Um, upping their rarity uh, usually unlocks other abilities. Um, but yeah, upping their their rarity unlocks abilities also makes them that much uh, stronger. And then, um, and then you can choose what outfit you want them to wear for combat, and certain outfits um, might provide an extra uh, benefit. Uh, if anything, only you know the special unlockable outfits, not the ones that you unlock through the character themselves. But this is what Captain Marvel starts out as when she upgrades to the next level. And then her full Captain Marvel outfit. But I prefer her classic outfit, so... I'll stick to that. Then we got Luke Cage. This is his starter outfit. That's This is his second outfit. And his final outfit. Alright, with Thor. Oh, oh, let me do something real quick. All right, so with Thor, starter outfit, his middle outfit, and his final. Daredevil, you got his starter outfit here. Then this is his middle outfit, very reminiscent to Frank Miller's outfit or um, the outfit you see in most of the Daredevil series. Um, but, you know, with, with the red as opposed to the, the black. And then the final outfit, which, uh, is very reminiscent to his, uh, Daredevil outfit in the series. You got Scarlet Witch. So, hold on. All right, so this is her starter outfit, her middle outfit, and then her final outfit. The Hulk, this is the starter, his middle, his final, and Grey Hulk. Um, this one gives me plus 2% HP. <laughs> um, not much, but some of these outfits do something. Um, got the Hulkling, his starter, his middle, and his final. But I like I like his middle one, so I keep that one. All right, Nico, her starter, her middle, and then her final. This is his starter, his middle, and his final outfit. But you know, but then I could also um, uh, equip the outfits, the um, his other outfits for combat. Captain America got a starter, his middle outfit, which more looks like a shield outfit, and then he got his Captain America. Nick Fury, got a starter, middle, and his final outfit has the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> Spider Gwen starter outfit, her middle outfit, and then her final outfit.
but I keep her in her Gwenom outfit. All right, Ant Man. You got his starter. Got his middle. And his final outfit. But I keep him in the one from the movie. From Civil War. Spider Man starter outfit. Then this is his middle one. Very reminiscent to uh, Homecoming. And then you know, the classic outfit. But uh, I keep him with the symbiote suit. Squirrel Girl and her starter. Middle. And end. Hellcat. So I like your strange shirts out. And then his middle outfit. And then his final one. Got Shuri, which that's her starter. This is her middle. Oh no, this is her starter. This is her middle outfit. And her final outfit, which looks pretty damn cool. So, I would like to go through each one, but that'd be really time consuming. Um, but basically, these are the characters I got. So, you got Captain Marvel, Luke Cage, Thor, Daredevil, Scarlet Witch, Hulk, Hulk Hulkling, um, Nico, Minoru, Iron Man, Captain America, Nick Fury, Spider Gwen. Ant-Man, Spider-Man, Squirrel Girl, Hellcat, Doctor Strange, Tiger, Shuri, Angela, Phil Coulson, Red Hulk, Wasp, Black Panther, Ghost Rider, um, the Robbie Reyes version, not the not Johnny Blaze or Dan Ketch. There you go. Took a little bit to remember that. Um. Valkyrie, Vision, Scar, Rick Jones, Mockingbird, Jessica Jones. No relation to Rick Jones. At least I don't think. <laughs> uh, Loki, Moon Knight, Punisher, She-Hulk, Quake. Spider-Woman, Star-Lord, Black Widow, Maria Hill. Nebula, Taskmaster, War Machine, Molly Hayes. Fendral, Peggy Carter, Volstag, Carolina Dean. Bullseye, Old Lace, Hank Pym, Lockjaw, Hogan, White Tiger, The Hood, Thane, Hope Van Dyne, Ghosts, Female Thor, Enchantress, Nadia Pym, Dagger, Yellow Jacket, Iron Fist, Killmonger, Cloak, Devil Dinosaur, Misty Knight, Winter Soldier, Stinger, Wiccan, Gemma Simmons, Leo Fitz, Amadeus Cho, Cosmo the Space Dog, Bucky Barnes, Odin, Beta Ray Bill, Teen Groot, Elektra, Miss Marvel, Falcon, Firebird, Blade. There's multiple Groots you can unlock um, in this game. Like, the one Groot I wasn't able to unlock was Baby Groot, which would have been cool. Colleen Wing, Okoya... Voyager, America Chavez, Nova, Jocasta, Hawkeye, Inferno, Triton, Pepper Potts, Wonder Man, Orgo, Leader, Wong, Thor Noir, Yondu, Sif, Ultron, Spider Man 2099, Whiplash, Red She Hulk, Union Jack, Rocket Raccoon, Satana, Spider Ham, Vampire by Night, Spider Girl, Venom, Viv, Singularity, Crossbones, Green Goblin, Grandmaster, Gorgon, Gamora, Frigga, Foggy Nelson, Elsa Bloodstone, Dum Dum Dugan, Drax the Destroyer, Dracula, Dr. Voodoo, Dr. Octopus, Groot, The Collector, Claire Temple, Captain Britain, Captain America 2099, Black Knight, Black Cat, Baron Zemo, The Ancient One, Aim Scientist, Agent Venom, 
Agent 13, Adam Warlock, Korg, Mordo, Moon Girl, Modok, Miles Morales, Meek, Medusa, Mary Jane, Mantis, Madam Hydra, Lucky, the Lizard, A Bomb, Mysterio, Kate Bishop, Karnak, Jasper Sitwell, Jarvis, Jack O' Lantern, Ironheart, Iron Legion, Iron Legion Robot, Iron Lad, Howard the Duck, Hit Monkey, Hercules, and Hairball. So those are all the characters that I've unlocked. I guess for the next few minutes, because uh, other than all this, there really isn't that much else to really, uh, really show off on this game. So we'll go to Angela. If anything, I'll just go to show like what their final outfit looks like. So you got Colson here. I think for combat I keep this in, but I like to, you know, keep his his suit. Red Hulk. Wasp. Black Panther. Ghost Rider, Valkyrie, Vision, Scar, Rick Jones, Mockingbird, keep her in her disco outfit. Her, her other one, her original one is this one. Jessica Jones. Her second outfit makes her look like, um, crap. I can't remember what she called herself with this outfit, but that's basically, this is her superhero outfit. Loki. I keep him in the Lady Loki outfit. Moon Knight. Punisher. She Hulk. Quake. So that's Spider Woman starter outfit. Her middle. And final one. And this is the unlockable outfits. Medieval Spider-Woman and her original outfit. So let's keep her with the original. Got Star-Lord. Black Widow. Which I have in the Iron Spider outfit. But let me give her the symbiote. Maria Hill. Nebula. Taskmaster. This is War Machine's starter outfit. This is his middle one. And he basically gets a Hulkbuster <laughs> outfit. But I like I like his middle one, so we'll, we'll keep it to his middle one. Um, Molly Hayes. Fandral. Peggy Carter. Volstag. So that's a starter. No, this is middle. This is a starter. This is middle. And this final one. So equip that. Carolina Dean. Bullseye. Old Lace. Hank Pym. Lockjaw. Hogan, White Tiger, The Hood. I like to keep this outfit because this is his starter one. Then this is his middle one and then 
Then this is his final one. <laughs> but I like his middle one, so. Thing. Hope Van Dyne. Ghosts. Paladin Thor. I go back to Ghosts, so I think we get a good look. Alright. Enchantress. Nadia Pym. Dagger. Yellow Jacket, Iron Fist, Killmonger, Cloak, Devil Dinosaur, and a little suit, and a bow tie, and then <laughs> it's like not meant much outfit options that you could give a dinosaur. Uh, Misty Knight. Yeah, so that's her starter outfit. This is her middle one. And then that's this is her final one. But I'll give her this. Winter Soldier. This is what he starts with. This is middle one. And this is his final one. But I like to leave him with the Captain America outfit. Um, Stinger, Wiccan, Gemma Simmons, Leo Fitz, Amadeus Cho, Cosmo, this is what he starts with, this is the middle, and then this is the end. Let's keep him with the Nova one. Bucky Barnes. So, yeah, you got two separate Buckys. One that became Winter Soldier, one that uh, stayed as B Bucky. <laughs> you got Odin here. Beta Ray Bill. Teen Group. Electra. This is what she starts with. Her middle, and then her final outfit. Miss Marvel. Falcon, who starts out like this. His middle, and then his final suit. But I leave his Captain America outfit, though. Firebird. Blade. Colleen Wing. Okoya. Voyager. America Chavez. Which, this is what she starts with. It's her middle outfit and her final outfit. Nova. Jocasta. Hawkeye. Inferno. Triton. This isn't his final outfit, but I can't show you through the screen. Pepper Pop. Wonder Man, Orgo, Leader, Wong. Yeah, unfortunately, I think for a lot of these, I can't show you their final outfit through through this screen. Yeah.
Like, these might be all the ones that won't let me... Yeah. Um, so maybe if I go to Character Selector... It's like... So you can see we have A-bomb there, but... It's gonna be like a hassle to have to... Go through each one. I don't think I leveled up aim scientist all the way. Um, oh, you know what? I think I could just show, show it to you that way. So, hold on. Let me go back to Triton. So, I go to rank. I can show you the final outfit here. So, there we go. Pepper Pots. She eventually gets her own Iron Man armor. I gotta wrap this up. Got Wonder Man. Orgo. Leader. Wong. Thor Noir. Yandu. Lady Sif, Ultron, Spider Man twenty ninety nine, Whiplash, she Red She Hulk, Union Jack, Rocket Raccoon. Satana, Spider Ham, Vampire by Night, but I like, I prefer this outfit though. The other one, I guess is like a shield outfit, but I like this one. Spider Girl, Venom. Viv, Singularity, Crossbones, Green Goblin, Grandmaster, Gorgon, Gamora, Frigga, Foggy Nelson, <laughs> that's his final outfit, like this is his first outfit, you know, then he get has a suit, proper suit, but then you can unlock the, the old original Daredevil outfit. Oh, anyone see it? Elsa Bloodstone. Dum Dum Dugan. He's a robot. So that's why he looks like that. Drax. Dracula. From Prep Boy. To Dracula. Dr. Voodoo. Doc Ock. Group. The Collector. Claire Temple. Captain Britain. Oh, she's supposed to be Captain America 2099. Black Knight. Black 
Ha. Baron Zima. Ancient one. Aim scientist. Flash Thompson, otherwise known as Agent Venom. Agent 13. Adam Warlock. How many more people do I have? Uh, Alright, I'm almost done. Korg. Baron Mordo. Moon Girl. Modoc. Basically, he goes from having flame accents and these huge exhaust pipes to having a little bit more streamlined look and then to here. Miles Morales. Meek. Medusa. Mary Jane. Eventually, this is what she starts out with. Then this is her middle outfit. And then she has the spider armor outfit. As her final one. Mantis. Madam Hydra. Lucky. The Lizard. Like, that's how he starts out. Like, he doesn't even start out as, like, a normal uh, person. And then he gets a little bit more lizardy, And then, boom, full-blown lizard. A bomb. Mysterio. Kate Bishop. Oh, yeah, I didn't even unlock her all the way. Oh, well. Karnak. Jasper Sitwell. Jarvis. Jack O' Lantern. Ironheart. Iron Legion Robot. Iron Lad. Howard the Duck. Hit Monkey. I prefer his the outfit where he's in the suit. Hercules, which I prefer this his starter outfit. Because this is the middle one, which I guess is okay. And then his final one. But I don't know. I like the bro look he got going on. So I, so I keep that. And hairball. So yeah. yeah. Um, well, I wish I had some more time to kind of goof around some more like um like have these characters perform certain actions like how you have iron man doing barrels around the plane but unfortunately at the moment i'm kind of running uh running low on time so i probably just have enough uh for final thoughts if i can play some more uh sometime later in the day i'll do my best to do that and i'll be just to goof around but i really don't know this game's supposed to be shutting down today and I really don't know what time. I was um, glad that I was able to even log on now. Um, because what if they shut it down like at midnight or something, you know? 
Um, but yeah, um, so I wish I could, you know, be able to play and be able to perform uh, certain actions. But like I said, I just uh, don't have the time um, at the moment. But um, but as far as my final thoughts goes, um, uh, I'm not a big mobile gamer like there there have been quite a few mobile games i've played but there's not very many that i've been able to keep up with um to keep up with over the you know over the years uh normally when i go and i play a mobile game um i usually end up playing it sometime around when it first comes out because that's when these mobile games are usually the best is when they first come out um, before they hit full microtransaction mode, and um, and I'll play these games, um, you know, long enough just to see if they're okay or not. Um, but even if I like it and I stick with it, it's just a matter of time before I end up stop playing because I'm tired of its shit and. You know, that's what happened with the Family Guy game. That's what happened with the Simpsons game. Um, so then I was... Uh, I started playing Avengers Academy. Hold on real quick. So anyways... Um, so prior to playing Avengers Academy, um, I played the Family Guy game, I played the Simpsons games, uh, but slowly ended up stopping playing um, both those games, especially after um, the Avengers game came out. And I was like, you know what, I only have time for like one of these types of games. So I stopped playing those games and I stuck to playing the Avengers game, which was made by the same company or people, whoever, that made the Family Guy game. And... I wish I could leave this zoomed out, but I can't. I have to actually do stuff to leave it like that. Um, and out of like the many mobile games that, that I have played, um, this was the one that I easily played the longest. That I played, you know, from damn near the beginning and played until its very end um till today so like three years i've been playing this game and even if i haven't been playing it hardcore or anything like that like i said i would just play i, I would i would boot it up when i woke up in the morning i would uh shut it down when i I mean, um, when I go to bed, I would play it one more time. So I would, at the very least, play like twice a day. And that was good enough for me. And I, I, kept, I kept up with it. Uh, despite how annoying some events were. Um, and there were certain events that almost made me like stop playing this game. But I stuck through it and I just kept playing it for, for three years. And so, with that being said, it is kind of a bummer that after all this time, um, it's shutting down today. And fortunately, I didn't really uh, spend much in the way of, like, real money on this game. Um, the, uh, I did unlock shards and stuff like that, but that was mostly through... Um, you know, like I have a Google rewards thing. So like whatever money I unlocked through the Google rewards, I would use towards this. Um, and, and then you had an opportunity to earn free shards. So get offers. So yeah, you can, um, you can fulfill, fulfill certain, oh, there's a time up here. Earn up to two time shards now. And there's like an hour and a half left. So now I'm wondering if that's like... Um, when the game will shut down. So they're kind of giving you a last opportunity to... To play these games, unlock 
shards. So, anyways, I would um, play games through here. And I would... Um, and I would unlock shards that then I could use towards, towards the game. So, you know, so essentially I never really spent like any real money, just money through the Google rewards and, uh, playing other games, uh, to, to unlock some more shards. But, um, other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, like I said, I'd like to be able to go on later and and goof around so to go through the different actions. Because, see, if I click on a person, here's all the different actions that they do. And some of them um, have stuff that they do. So, if I go play Let's Ball at Avengers Park, um, Agent, you see Agent Venom and you see Spider-Man. And they're going to play football with each other. Um, so yeah, so you have actions like, you know, little cute actions like that. And I think what what made me um, appeal to this game was... Um, so, so the appeal of this game was kind of like... When I was growing up as a kid, one of the popular toys was the uh, Mighty Max toys, which were basically um, the, these little mini toys that would come with um, that would come with like a play. Damn, I don't know how to describe Mighty Max toys. Um. It was also it was basically the boy version of uh, of Polly Pocket I think that was called but but basically um, so the easiest way to probably explain would be probably through Polly Pocket so Polly Pocket was basically uh, which I believe came out before Mighty Max which was a toy where it would come in the form of like let's say like an accessory looking thing like let's say like a necklace. Um, and you could open it up and it would have like kind of like this mini little play set with little mini like little tiny mini figures that you could play around in. you know it sounds silly but it, it was all the rage when when I was growing up they came out with a boy version of those toys called Mighty Max um, so but I think I, I used to have like one uh, Mighty Max thing, and it was like a a little a little dragon skull face thing that you can open it up, and then you have like the little playset underneath, and you have the little figures, and you could just play and use your imagination from there. <laughs> like sounds lame when I'm explaining it, but. Uh, but that's what kind of this reminded me of, like, you know, like a digital version of those types of toys where, you know, this is the play set. This is the little mini figures and you can have them goof around and, and do stuff like like this, like you see over here. And, you know, that 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 was kind of part of the appeal. That's what I thought was was really cool about about this. Seriously? So, you know, I am going to be um, uploading um, uploading this to, to Twitch later, and I'll be um, talking about it some more. But I wanted to try to get this, this footage of it down because today's going to be the final day. I don't know when if I'm going to sign on to this game again uh, sometime today. Um... So if this is the last time I get to um, boot it up, at least I got some footage. Uh, you know, I got to have a good uh, final look at my academy. Um, you know, got 
to take a final look of all the characters I unlocked, all the um, outfits that I unlocked, and um, yeah. Um, you know, it is sad and unfortunate that this game's gonna be shutting down, but it just goes to show that with these types of games, there's nothing wrong with playing them. Just don't invest money in them. Um, it's just not worth it. Um, not that I have a problem with spending Google Rewards money because that technically that was that's not real money. That wasn't real money that I earned. Um, that I had worked for, so I, I don't give a shit about that. Um, but if but if it comes down to you going to, um, you know, go like if it comes down to having to spend real money through either your debit cards or credit cards or your you know Google gift cards stuff like that, and spending it towards these mobile games like it's just not worth it. Um, because you don't know when these games are going to shut down. Uh, with Avengers Academy, I don't know. For some reason, I thought maybe this game was invincible. Like, it wouldn't um, be affected. Especially because it's gone on for so long. And a lot of the games that do shut down, they've shut down maybe after um, a couple years at, at the most. Um, but at the end of the day, you don't know when they're going to shut down. They could shut down in two, three years. They could shut down in just a few months. There was... Um, Capcom came out with Puzzle Fighter. And it seemed kind of cool. And I played it enough just to try it out and be like, okay, you're cool. And I never played it again. But it got shut down after five months. The Tekken Mobile game that came out, I think, last year. Sometime last year. Um, that's shutting down this month also. <laughs> um, and then the Spider-Man Temple Runner game... Um, which I think came out a little bit, might have came out around the same time as Avengers Academy, maybe a little before, not too sure. Um, but that one's going to get shut down next month. <laughs> and that was a game that I played a little bit of when, when it first came out. And then I stopped for the same reason because, um, as all other mobile games, because after a while it just becomes a pain in the ass to unlock stuff. And that, that's when I usually stop playing these things. So, um, you know, but that's why, like, people need to be, like, very wary about, um, about these things. And, um, you know, and giving money to these games. And I guess in a way it also sucks for the mobile games that are going strong that might maybe, um, stand the test of time. And people might not want to spend money on them because what if they get... You know, they've been... Some of these games have been around for a couple of years. What if they get shut down? You know, think, um, all of a sudden, things like that. Uh, so it kind of screws over um, those games. But, you know, and then the other unfortunate thing is that these games are tied to servers. So once these games shut down, like, that's it. They're done. It would have been one thing if maybe, like, okay, well, we're not updating this game anymore, but you could still boot it up and goof around. You know, if there was something like that, that would be cool, but nah. Ain't like that. So. But overall, um. You know, sad to see this game go. You know, I put in, um. Still a, a time and effort, um, into this. So it, it is very unfortunate that. It's gonna be, get shut down sometime today. But I am glad that I at least got some gameplay footage um today on this final day um if i can if i sign back on later and it's still up and running i can record some more just maybe show off some of the um um actions that you can perform in this game um but this is basically just of it this is what i wanted to make sure that i at least got out of the way that i, that I had something <laughs> to show so all right, it's about a good time to stop. So I'm going to, um, this is going to be on YouTube. I'm going to um, 
I don't think I could upload it to Twitch per se, but I'll stream on Twitch later and then I'll, through my computer, and I'll bring up um, this YouTube video and I'll probably just talk some more about about the game and whatnot. See all the people walking around and stuff. So, yeah. I'm gonna miss this game. Um, alright, well, I guess that'll be it.